Hey watch fam, it is Phil here at the Loom Room, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to be looking at something pretty special, not one, not two, but three brand new watches from Zelos, which has got to be one of my favourite micro brands. This is one of their signature models, this is the Mako, I would say that their signature models are maybe the Mako, the Swordfish and probably the Hammerhead as well. We have a couple of new divers, this is the Sky Blue and then we have the Aventurine there and they have also done a brand new GMT version, this one here in the middle which is Malachite, a very interesting dial. This is the Timekeeper's Special Edition so that is exclusive to the Zelos Facebook group so we will be going into these today. First of all we'll do a quick wristwatch check. I'm still wearing the Tudor Black Bay 54. This has been on the wrist for probably the best part of a month now. Just can't take it off, it's almost a perfect watch. Pretty much is, but anyway, with that aside, let's get into the new Zelos. This is brand new packaging from Zelos. We've got a three slot watch roll and this is made of a really soft, I think that's faux leather, you can see they've got the Zelos logo embossed on the front there and you have got poppers to open and close it. So the way that this works is you've got the pillows here, three pillows, they've got rails on the sides and those just slide in and out of the watch roll. I would say that this is a huge upgrade from the previous. There's been quite a few iterations. There's been wooden boxes, leather watch rolls, uh, steel tin watch holders, travel cases. But I would say this is just about perfect. The only downside I would say as well, you can see that the watch is on one of the pillows here. It's all designed fantastically, but if we take the watch off, I call these M-shaped pillows. I prefer these because they give the watch some give, some cushioning, but if you look, I'm basically squeezing this down. There should be quite a bit of compression there. This bracelet hasn't been sized yet, but once this has been sized, it's going to be smaller, so it's going to be even tighter on the pillow, and I'm not getting any compression on that. So do, do be aware of that. If you size your watch and then try and squeeze it back onto the pillow, it may mean that it's really tight, which can cause bracelet stretch. I know I'm being quite pernickety here, but it's just something to look out for. First up, I'm going to start with one of the Mako divers. So this is a 300 meter diver. The updates on this are mainly the dials and we will be looking at the bracelet as well. The bracelets are all the same on them, the dimensions on these watches. So the two divers, the Sky Blue and the Aventurine, are that little bit slimmer. That's only because the GMT in the middle there does have a more complicated movement, i.e. it is going to be a little bit thicker, but we will take a look at that as the video progresses. So yeah, let's start up. I'll start with the sky blue. This for me is, I'm going to call this one the sleeper hit. If we zoom in on that dial, you can see the pattern there. That is a guilloche with a blue, a sky blue pattern. And the way that this is executed is, is simply stunning. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it does have like a, a swirl pattern going around there. The printing of the dial is quite simple. We've got a Zelos logo just at the top there, just below the 12 o'clock. And then we have 300 meters slash, which is 1000 feet. One of the little changes I would make is it says automatic. I would have preferred if that had have said Mako on it. I know that that's nitpicking, but there are other models. There's Horizons, there is Black Tips, and they all sort of say the names on them. Um, I would have preferred if that had have said Mako. This one actually has black lacquered or black polished hands and indices and I think it just makes the dial pop that little bit more because it's quite a light dial it means that the indices will jump off there and if you look on the second hand as well you can see the tiny little tip of the second hand matches the dial. The case on this one is kind of like a vintage diver I would say. We'll look at the profile, there's a side profile there. You can see that this is quite a slim watch. Uh, you have got a double domed sapphire crystal that is a fully brushed side case. There is some chamfering just going around the edges which are polished and that is fantastic attention to detail. 
especially from a micro brand. Sticking with the case on this diver and if we turn it to the right hand side you will see the case is brushed and then you have those chamfers which are polished on the side. On the right hand side as well you've got the crown at the 4 o'clock. I quite like that because it means that there's no protrusion at the 3 so it's definitely not going to dig into your arm. And there is a light. This is all part of the design. This is what I love about the Makos is that I'm not sure if I would go as far to call this a crown guard. It kind of is but part of the side case just flares out that little bit and it does give you that little bit of protection on the crown just there. So if you're diving and you hit rocks then this will give you a little bit more protection than you would normally get. When we take a look at the crown you can see that is stamped, it's actually engraved with the Z for Zelos logo and that is loomed as well. Now of course we are going to be doing a loom shot later on because Zelos just they're, they're so good at the loom. I always think Seiko are quite good with their loom, but Zelos are so generous at applying the loom. They just absolutely wallop it on. And these things glow up like Christmas trees. There's never any problems seeing these things in the dark. Here's the case back, and it's a screw down case back. Dead center there, we have got the embossed and raised Mako shark. There is no sharp edges on it. I remember back in the early days they did have slightly sharper edges so a few complaints but Elshan, the owner of Zelos, managed to sort that out. So this is perfection. I do love that little bit of character and you and only you will know that you've got a tiny shark underneath your watch. There is some engraved print there. Zelos Mako V3 300 meters 316L stainless steel. It says sapphire crystal. My thumb is hiding uh, the number that I got. So this is the sky blue. There is 150 of these. When we move on to the other watches, the Aventurine and the GMT, you will see that the batch sizes are different depending on the colour. You must be so excited if you've got one of these on order. And trust me, it is worth the wait. These are just tremendous divers. I guess we should listen to the bezel. Such a good action on that bezel. It is extremely snappy, very mechanical and there is pretty much no play pack on it. It lines up just perfectly and there is pretty much no wiggle on it. There might be a little bit so you can just settle the bezel into place just as you like it. These are ceramic inserts. They are brushed ceramic and then you have a glossy ceramic uh, with a 12 hour bezel. Uh, sorry 24 hour bezel on the GMT and on the bezel inlays the markings these are fully loomed. I did mention it earlier that we will be doing loom shots later on. There's certainly enough knurling on the bezels. I am wearing gloves and I have got no problems at all gripping the bezel and turning it so you shouldn't have any problems if you have either wet sweaty or gloved hands. So this is me just lifted the Malachite GMT off the pillow and would you look at that dial, that is simply ravishing. This is called the Timekeepers Edition. So this is exclusive to the Zelos Facebook group. There was a, a password and sort of a, a secret entry into getting one of these. And as you can see, this is so unique. It is that little bit thicker than the, the other, the, the Mako divers. And that is just because it has that larger, more complicated movement in there. But all in all, it's pretty much an identical watch. The bracelets are exactly the same as well. Every one of the dials is going to be different. This is malachite, so it is like a, a precious stone. Uh, it's possibly not as intricate as something like Meteorite, but it is definitely, it has like a, a, a glassy finish to it. Hopefully the camera is picking that up and the striations on it, those will be different for every other iteration. You will get something that is quite unique to yourself, which I think is quite fitting, especially this being a special edition. Anyway, if we take a look at the indices, these are the same, the designs are all the same, the handset, except these ones are in gilt or a gold. You've got the depth rating, 300 meters, which is a thousand feet, and then above that GMT, and then that matches the color 
of the GMT hand. So the GMT watch is using the Miyota 9075 and that is a true GMT. The divers use the Miyota 9015 and each of the movements they, they tick away at 28,000 800 vibrations per hour so you are going to get that very smooth sweep uh, you're looking at about 42 hours of power reserve and they do hack and hand wind the difference being between the 9015 and the 9075 is that the 9075 does have that true gmt complication so this has a 24 hour bezel instead of a 60 minute track uh, for diving and we'll take a little listen to the, the clicks on this one okay so just as snappy just as mechanical maybe a little bit lighter i would describe it as quite a notchy feel that is because this is bi-directional that's because it has a gmt function you can read various time zones with the the gmt complication i won't go too much into that we've just turned it over and i just wanted to show you there it does say zelos mako gmt timekeepers edition that's what makes that special and you will see the batch number is out of 400 let's do a side case profile comparison to try and give you an idea of the difference in thickness we have the gmt on the left and then the the diver on the right hand side so there isn't much of a difference you can see that the double dome sapphire on both of these just pop up that little bit and i think it gives the watch a glorious kind of vintage aesthetic and um, because it's double domed you're not going to get much of a distortion so you're going to get to see those stunning dials as much as you can Okay, last but by no means least, we have the Diver Aventurine dial. And this one is just, I mean, this is just such an obvious win. I do love it when Zelos make these Aventurine dials. The way that they execute it, the way that they use the material is just eye-popping. Every time that I look at one of these dials, it feels as though I'm looking at the starry night sky. It is simply mesmerizing. Your eyes just keep going about, seeing all the little twinkles. In terms of styling, this is going to be identical to the sky blue one that we looked at earlier on. These are both the 300 meter divers. The only thing differing here is the dials. So we'll have that Gearshay sky blue here and then the Aventurine on this one. I have turned this one over. This is identical to that sky blue one. And then the batch number on this one is 200. So this is one of the things that's been upgraded on this model is the bracelet. Elshan is forever sort of tinkering with these things. He always accepts the, the positive um, and constructive feedback. And honestly, this is for a micro brand. This is near perfection as you're going to get. This is a three link bracelet. We've got a male end link there. Um, I'm not sure if I would have preferred a female end link. He started doing female end links on quite a few of the other ranges that Zelos offer. So not, not too much of a gripe there. I guess that's just personal preference. I prefer the, the female ones. I just think it gives you that little bit more of a, a better articulation on the end there. Um, especially if you have dinky little wrists like me. I have six and three quarter inch wrists three links going across these are all brushed going down the center there and then on the very edges there is chamfering and those are polished so again just the attention to detail screws for the extra links there so you should be okay i'm not sure if they're using any sort of glue but just be careful make sure that you do have the right tools when you are tinkering and removing links etc i'll move to the clasp now and just look at that design that is just unbelievable again for this price point you're not really going to see anything better than this simply incredible brushing on the sides of this clasp and then down the center down that chalk stripe it is of a high polish and then you have a little coin in the middle there i'm not sure if that's etched in or if there is engraving and then this tiny little coin is just placed in there glued in there soldered in there but the craftsmanship on this is just fantastic in the center you have the z logo 
that is of raised relief. There is a, almost like a bead blasted surround going through that little coin and then the Z logo is of high polish. There's also chamfering on the edges of the clasp. This is a double pusher deployant. So if we push the little triggers here, that opens up and then you get a fully milled bridge. This has a micro adjust on the fly tool free adjustment. You can see under there that there is little gauges. And if I pull this out a little bit, there's a notch and I can simply just pull that up and then adjust that. There's probably about the size of I don't know, a link and a half. But to, to manoeuvre that again, I can just pull that down, slide it down, put that into place, and then that's going to fit your wrist. So whenever it gets hot, your wrist gets sweaty or swell or anything like that, you can just do that on the fly. It's simply incredible. We did look at my Shooter Black Bay 54 in the introduction. By the way, if you've not seen the video review I've done of this one, please do go check it out. But there is a similar, this is called the T-Fit system that Tudor do. And if you look at that, pull that down and you can just slide that. This one feels like, I'm not really sure, it just feels, feels like possibly a tiny bit smoother. But like I said, this is, what you get for your money is just insane. The bracelet also has quick release spring bars. So it basically makes strap changes an absolute breeze on these models. All the models have got them. So what you will see with the spring bars is they have two little pillars or posts and all you have to do there is pinch them together and that will release the spring bar. It means that you can just pull that out um, and then reattaching the bracelet is just as easy as well. You can easily do it with your fingernails or fingertips. Um, so that is a nice little bonus there from Zelos. Pricing on these will vary, so the ones that I have today are the Sky Blue, which is starting at $429, the Aventurine Diver is $459, and the Malachite GMT is $549. Do keep in mind that all of those are the introductory or starter prices. Those prices do go up. But to be totally honest, all the watches usually sell out before the prices even get a chance to go up. Probably by the time I get this review out, they've probably all been snapped up. Who knows, there might be one or two stragglers out there. But I would love to hear from you if you have a favourite within my little collection here, the three that I managed to get my hands on, or did you manage to get one of the other colours which aren't shown in this video. Please do leave any comments or questions below and I will get back to you. As usual, I've been Phil at The Loom Room. Thanks for checking in.